I like to give all glory and praise and honor all to the Most High. We gonna get into it, man. You know, you niggas not getting no reparations, man. You know, you not getting no reparations, so you can cut that talk out. It's been too long. You know, and you know what I and when I and I, and I say that because you know this um, this gang stalking thing. You know, it's a dynamic to slavery to it. You know. So you remember on the plantation, you know, they had a rule where they said, like, look, man, the slaves couldn't gather, they couldn't assemble together, you know, and it was a reason for that. You know, and you see the same thing going on out here. You know, you can't assemble and you can't really be in groups with other people, you know, unless, you know, it's a, they're a part of it, you know, because you see you got these niggas out here, they always come, they're coming out and they disrupting everything that you're doing. Why? Because I said... The extension of that slave master, you know, and the same thing that was going on in the plantation back then is the same thing going on now in this modern day time, you know, because they didn't want any rebellions. They didn't. They didn't want the slaves to leave, man. You know, you know, they didn't want them to leave. So, when I say, and I say, you, 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 you think that the. Uh, you know, the Civil War was fought because they wanted to free you? Hell nah. That wasn't about freeing you niggas. You know? It was never about freeing you. You know? So, you know, the average white man to say, you know, go back to Africa, you know? He don't know what the hell he's talking about. Now, that real white man, they know who you are. They know who you are. And they really don't want you to leave. Why? Because they making billions off of you. You know? Off of your ignorance. Now you see you got LeBron James, you got Jay-Z, Diddy, all these guys. These guys got money. You know, Kanye West. They, they became billionaires and things like that. But how much money do you think they made, you know, the people that's over them? You know? And this is the you think they want them to leave? Hell no. Because it's the same thing that was going on in the plantation that's going on back then. They don't want you niggas to leave, man. You know, that real white man don't want you to leave. You know, like I said, they, they, you know, the ones that don't know what they're talking about, oh, niggas, this and go back to Africa. No. You mean? Because, like I said, that Civil War was a fort. Because they loved you and they, oh my gosh, we, we're tired. Of, we're tired of abusing them. Had nothing to do with freeing you. That was never in the plan, you know. You know, so they just gave what they they just pledged what a, a a billion, I think a billion more dollars to Ukraine. What do you niggas get, man? You're not getting any reparations, man. It's not happening. Why? Because you're under the house of Pharaoh. Like I said, the, you know, Egypt and Rome is working together. You know, if you watch my previous videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, and like I said, man, the Caucasian is the modern day Pharaoh in this time, man. You know? So what was what, what 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 was the real reparations, man? When you th when you look back at the Bible, you know, and you see, look, when they left Egypt, that's when they got their reparations, man. The separation was reparation. You know, the separation was the reparation. But a lot of you guys, you're not ready for that, because like I always say, you know. They, a lot of people, when they wanted to go back into Egypt, you know, when they left, you know, after after 400 years, you know, they wanted to go back under the Pharaoh because they loved being in captivity, man. You know, they made it good for some of these guys, you know, and these were the sellouts, you know. And let's just say, you know, let's say if we was to get some... Let's say we was to get some reparations. 
who you think is gonna be the first ones? You know what I mean? Trying to get them. The niggas that helped enslave your black ass. You know? Them under the house of Pharaoh. They gonna be the first ones lined up. You know? Trying to get it. All the sellouts. You know? Because all the sellouts is the ones that's first in his life. You know? You know? That's helping, you know, that that's helping, you know. You know, the powers that be lie to you, deceive you, lead you astray. They're the ones that's getting rewarded, man. So let's say if you was to get some reparations, they're going to be the first ones to get it. The same ones that help deceive you and put you in captivity, man. You know? But like I say, the real separation, when you look in the biblical scriptures, you know, the real, the, the real reparations, I should say, was when they were separated, when they got separated you know, from the Egyptians. Let's take a look at this scripture real quick. Exodus 12, 36. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they lent unto them such things as they required and they spoiled the Egyptians, man. When they say they spoil them, look, they took everything that they had. They walked away with all their wealth. That's what it says. And they spoiled them. You see that? They was ready to go, man. They spoiled them. They took everything that they have, man. Oh, man. You know, you know, so he said the Most High gave them favor, you know. They gave them everything they had, man. Why? Because those those plagues was hitting them, you know. So they, hey, look, y'all got to go, man. You know. And that's because, look, they got tired and they started calling out to the Most High, man. You know. So they know exactly what they're doing. They know they can't come down to you too hard because you're going to call out to the most high, you know? That's why they got to keep a few happy, you know? They got to keep a few happy. They got to keep, you know, keep a few token Negroes happy because they understand, like, they come down to you too hard, you know, you're going to cry out and the, and the Lord's judgment is going to come down, you know? That's, um, you know? But in reality, like I said, they don't want you to leave, just like how Pharaoh didn't want them to leave. He wanted to keep them there. Like I said, they making billions, trillions off of you. I said, that real white man don't want you to leave. You know, the, the fool's going to be, like I said, the fool's like, going to say, oh, dude, these guys got to go. They think it's their land, stuff like that. They don't know what the hell they talk about, man. I mean, they got rich off your backs, man. So why you think that... The Pharaoh was running back after the Israelites when it was when it was getting ready to go, cause they were the economy. They were doing everything. The Egyptians was nothing without them. That's why he was running back to get them, cause if Egypt was so great, he would have been able to do it with his own people, man. He was like, all right, y'all could go. I mean, we don't need y'all. He was running back after them. He didn't want to let them go after all the plagues, after all this, that, and the third. He was running back to get them. You know, come back. Because the Pharaoh ain't nothing without the slaves, man. And he knew that. But they, you know, but they, you guys think so lowly of yourselves that you can't see that. You know, the same thing that's happening in this modern day time. They had a whole civil war to try to keep you niggas in, <laughs> keep you niggas in slavery, man. You know? You know, but it was never about the North wanting, wanting to free you I mean, because they cared about you. You know, that was never what it was about, man. You know, they didn't sit down here and preach you all these lies in school. You know, that's not what it was about, man. You know? And the reality of it is, man, they can't pay you, man, for what they've done. You know what I mean? So what dollar amount can they possibly give you for everything that they've done to you? You know, dating back to... You know, your, your ancestors up until now. You know? You mean? And just think about the stuff that you don't know that they did. Only the most high could give you that, you, you know, that, 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 that reward, man. You know? But you guys don't, you know, you, don't, you guys don't desire that. You're still sitting out here talking about reparations, being to get reparations, this and other. You're not getting no reparations, man. And they showed you that time and time again. They didn't even give you your 40 acres and a mule. You know? 
Everybody else got theirs, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, they just gave Ukraine some, they pledge a billion of them. They stay playing you, man. You know, not getting no reparations, man. The real reparations is separation. And then they showed you that in the scriptures. You know? They can't pay you enough. Any dollar amount they give you, you know what I mean? Will be disrespectful. You know? Because it can't it can't suffice. <laughs> you know, what they did. It's only that's only gonna come from the most high, man. You know what I mean? Oh man. You know, and they're gonna continue to keep getting rich, man. You know, like they like they were on a plantation. You know, they still got that. Like a lot of this is a lot of this is old money. A lot of people still eating off that old money. You know, off your backs, man. You know, these owners, these NFL owners, don't want you to leave, man. These basketball owners don't want you to leave. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot, yeah, these cats making a lot of money, yeah. but they generating a lot more for them, man. Because they know who you are, man. And like I said, they get, the, they got the, they got the, um, like I said, they got this, like when it comes to this gang stalking thing, when you understand what's going on, it's the same thing that was going on on a plantation. They didn't want you to certain cats to assemble. They was coming out there, disrupting the disrupting their groups like this, that, and the third. Cause they didn't want slaves to leave, man. You know, look at all looking at, looking in the neighborhoods, man. You think all these other, look at the different nationalities that's in your neighborhood making money off of you. You think they want you to leave? You know. You really think they want you to leave? No, cause they getting rich off you too. You know, everybody else is getting a piece, man. You know, they don't want you to leave, man. They, and they know who you are. You know, like I said, the average, like I said before, once again, the average you know, little Joe Schmo out there, they don't know what's going on. But, you know, those real ones, they know what's going on. And you know what? A perfect example of that, you know, that shows you kind of like a little precursor was when you look at LeBron James when he was first in Cleveland and he left. Look at how angry they got when he left. You know what I mean? Look at what it, look at what just that one man did to that economy. You know, things got bad. He took a lot of money out that city. You know, people was lost a lot of jobs just from one man. You know I mean leaving and going to Miami? Look at how mad they got. Oh, Le LeBron, come back, please stay. Oh, they was pissed off, man. And look at how you know I mean look at how that city turned to nothing when he left, just off one man. And that right here, that's that's just a that's just a um a little you know snippet of what's showing you that happened on a grand scale. You think they really want you to leave, man? <laughs> like I said the real ones know. They don't want you to leave. Trust me. And they don't want you to know who you are, too. So, um, hopefully this was edified, man. You know? One man, bro. Just leaving, making the decision to leave, man. Look at how mad they got. So, all praises to the most hot, man. You niggas is not getting no reparations, man. Cut that talk out.